Well, hello, hello, everybody. Just went to uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. I was looking for a uh, telescoping fishing pole. Something I could take with me if I were to take my bike out somewhere to go fishing. I saw this one online. It was like uh, 30, 40 bucks, maybe 50. But it wasn't too expensive. And it was a portable fishing pole, a telescoping fishing pole. And it fit directly into my, uh, or it was like very small enough so I can carry it in a book bag and stuff. And I had a reel and everything on it. It was pretty sweet. I was like, you hear that? <laughs> my gas cap is talking to me. Oops. I feel like a retard. I got the, uh, <laughs> as you can hear, I got the silencer off, just for the fun. Anyways, I was looking for a telescoping fishing pole, something I could take out with me on the bike if I were to go fishing, or if that, uh, trip with my dad falls through to, uh, South Carolina, I could take that along with me, fishing. And I was, uh, really trying to push it for now because my dad wants to go fishing tomorrow. But I want to go riding bikes as well, so I can't exactly take a fishing pole on here. So I was looking for one, but we'll see. This is, uh, the weather's finally getting really warm. I'm actually starting to sweat. It's like 92 degrees today. It's really weird. we got summer weather. And, uh... Mm -hmm. Virginia weather is really humid, but once you get going, the air feels pretty good. I gotta slow down, there's a, it's not paved up here, oh shit, Ugh. but, oh. I feel kind of bad. I don't know if I blew my front shocks. Because it's making like a... A whiffing noise. Like a whistling, hissing noise. Like when it hits pressure and stuff. I don't... It might be normal though. But uh, Dick's Sporting Good didn't have it. The uh, telescoping fishing pole. I know they had it on the website. That's where I found out about it. So I wanted to see if they had it in the store. But they don't have it in the store. So I either got the I'm probably got the order it if I am gonna get it. What the hell? Ugh. <laughs> the humidity here is so bad. It's like it gets like really, really humid. It makes the heat feel so much worse than it really is. But I guess this is gonna be a a taste of what summer is gonna feel like. Um, it's not too bad. I'm wearing my new jacket and it's all leather, but it, it's not all leather. I mean, it's mostly leather. It's but it's perforated up near the chest area, so it lets some a good amount of air flow through. It's doable, but I, uh, I'm not used to it. I may actually have to end up ordering a mesh jacket or something that breathes a little better, better for the summertime. Uh, I'm actually starting to get really used to this exhaust with the uh, baffle out or the uh, silencer out. Uh, but I still, I still prefer the uh, silencer in during nighttime because I just hate to be a disturbance to my neighbors and to everyone actually. And, and I don't know what the uh, noise laws are for motorcycles or 
motor vehicles or whatever for decibels and such but I'd rather be on the safe side when it's when I feel a little bit iffy I'll just put it in put the uh, sound through so I wouldn't um, so there wouldn't be a doubt about getting in trouble but right now I have it out because it's nice out it's, everyone's out it's, uh, I figured because there's a bunch of Harleys and guys all loud and such so I figured no one would really care. Plus, it's not too loud. I'm just not used to it. But uh, today is Saturday. It feels really good out. Actually, I'm starting to sweat, and it's kind of disgusting. And it's only it was 92 right now, and I wonder what it's gonna be like during the summer, summertime when it gets to like 96, and some days we'll be pushing 100. But sorry, dude. Is that going too slow for you? Um, anyway, school's almost out for uh, college right now. So, well, next week is my last week of classes, and then the week after that is the final exams. I really need to uh, step it up with my math. Because I'm like three weeks behind in my math class. And my final is in two weeks, so <laughs> I gotta step it up. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm not I'm taking it easy in school, but I'm kind of confused of what I want to take next for like my next classes because I'm not exactly sure what I want to do when I grow up. Um, I like computers a lot, but I don't know if I'd want to sit in an office and be on a computer all night all day long. For a while, I was thinking about doing uh, engineering, uh, civil engineering to be exact, because I like structures and stuff. I wanted to be like a part of the planning and the making of all these structures, and, like office buildings or sewage ways or something like that. But um, then I was like, engineering, that's kind of hard. There's <laughs> all these math classes, and I'm just really, really lazy. I don't know if I want to like work that hard, because there's a lot of hard classes you have to take. But I mean it's what like four years of hard studying and but the reward is pretty good it's pretty re rewarding but I'm just so lazy I don't know if I want to work that hard for a degree but um so then I, I was thinking about doing uh drafting and design it's a, actually a two-year course so I mean I'd be getting my job a lot sooner or I'd be you know I'd be able to enter the workforce two years sooner than I would have been able to if I did engineering, but I mean, you don't get paid as much. But because right now I'm in my engineering one class, we uh, you know do <clears throat> mechanical drawings of figures and stuff, and on the computer on uh, AutoCAD, and I actually pretty I actually enjoy it, and that's what got me into uh, computer automated drafting and design. So I was thinking on doing that as a degree, but then I'd have to sit around in an office probably for so long. So not make, that makes me really confused of what I want to do with my college career or what I want to do with my life. Because I'm a really, really indecisive per person. Like today, I couldn't decide between Burger King or Sonic. <laughs> but I mean, Sonic was like 50 feet closer to where I was, so I decided to go to Sonic instead. <laughs> but I mean, I have no idea what I want to do for my career. I don't know how people can decide so early in your life. Granted, I'm almost 20. <clears throat> I can't. I just can't decide what I want to do. Uh, I'm. Conf what, what did you guys do? Or the guys that are still in college? What are you guys doing now? Or the guys that are out of college? What did you guys do? Um, I'm confused because I don't want to choose like the wrong career and waste my time or whatever. But. I don't know. I gotta make a decision soon because I'm spending all this money on classes. I don't know if I need them or not. <laughs>